What up, guys? Welcome back to episode number 38 today of the My Player Career Mode. Firstly, guys, thank you so much for all of the support on the previous episode of this series. You guys are incredible. You always smash it every single time, guys. I really do appreciate it. Honestly, it's great to see all the likes and the comments that you guys leave, and I like reading through them as well. So... Let's actually touch upon a few of the comments as I had to fix him the first game here for Ben. He wasn't picked for the uh, the debut or the Champions Cup starting match in the group stage. Of course, it will be Ben's debut in the Champions League when he finally does get picked for a Champions League game. Luckily for Real Madrid, they did end up going on to win it 2-1 even with that red card picked up by Casimiro as Ronaldo scored the winner. So, going through a few of your guys' comments, let me uh, touch upon a few of them as I like to do and give you guys a, a little bit of an answer. So, starting with Ben's number at Real Madrid. Now, I have recorded the uh, the next couple of episodes of this one, so his number will remain at 26. I looked through the list of the numbers that were available at Real Madrid, of course, because if Ben was a new signing, he wouldn't just be able to come in and just take a number off somebody. You know, the season's already began. So I was looking at the numbers that were available, and I think 26 was available. I'm not sure about 23, which a few of you guys have said that Be Beckham's number, of course, Real Madrid was 23. I saw 17 in there. I saw quite a few different numbers. So for now, we're sticking with 26. I will look at the different numbers available, though, and make maybe change it based on if there's one available that you guys said. So that's one thing. The second thing is, of course, Ben's sponsorship with Puma does end up at the end of the January of this season coming, uh, of course. So by this January, it means he can wear any boots he wants. And to be fair, the sponsorship has been quite underwhelming with Puma. They didn't really give too much to Ben. And uh, that was basically, I guess, a starting sponsorship because he wasn't really known when he first signed with them. Maybe it was a mistake to go with a sponsorship deal with Puma themselves. So I suppose you live and you learn from that aspect of it. So as we're going into game number one now, guys, it is time for Ben to play here at Real Madrid. And it's against Valencia. And the truth is, when you have Ronaldo in your side, it's not that difficult to pick up assists, as Ben found out there. He literally played a pass into Cristiano Ronaldo, and Ronaldo just did the rest, basically. It was like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, Sergio Busquets, he gets an assist for Messi when Messi takes it off him in the center of the park, and then just dribbles it past four or five players before finishing the move off, and actually counting as Busquets' assist, it was a similar type of thing there for Ben. He just literally passed it to Ronaldo, said, there you go, mate, you do the rest, and that's what Ronaldo did. So a fantastic finish. From Cristiano Ronaldo, ball roll before, finding the top corner. And Ben has an assist now in Real Madrid colours, celebrating with the fans there. And uh, there is a question mark over Ben's loyalty as well, which a few of you guys have pointed out. So we'll see if he's going to be loyal to Real Madrid or if he will be leaving the club by the end of the season. Because at the moment, the most he spent at a club is one year. And that was, of course, at Spurs. So we'll see if his loyalty is, uh, is going to lie with any particular team or if he's going to be the next Alex Hunter, as a few of you guys have said. But luckily for Real Madrid, they got themselves off to winning ways in today's episode with that one goal from Ronaldo being enough to give them the three points here against Valencia. So, again, Ben with the assist. Doesn't really get too much of the assist, though, because Ronaldo do does a lot of the work there. And he even got man of the match in that game as well. So I was pleasantly surprised, to say the least. So... Very well done to Ben in that aspect of it, getting man of the match. But you have to give major credit to Ronaldo for the finishing of the move as well. As we move into game number two now in this episode, and we've got a game at home for Ben to feature in. Now, the only issue I've got, guys, is this season, Ben, it's going to be one of those seasons where I think he's going to be needed a lot more than maybe you would expect. Although you look at this Real Madrid team and you see superstars from just all across the board, there is kind of something that's telling me when I've seen Ben play in these initial games for Real Madrid that they're going to be lacking a little bit of creativity, which is weird to say when you look at the fact that they're front three that they have. But for some reason, it seems to be a situation where Zidane likes to play with Casemiro alongside Llorente, allowing Ben maybe to push himself up further. Because remember where he played at Spurs, he was in behind the striker as a, like a shadow striker type thing. So if he starts committing himself too much going forward, which is what he does as a cam naturally then they're going to have to play these two defensive-minded midfielders. So at the moment, that's what he's been doing, Zidane. And that's kind of, I guess, making a little bit of a lack of creativity. But 23 minutes into game two, Ben thought he had his first Real Madrid goal. He was ready to celebrate. But unfortunately for him, the post denied him. And that was the only chance in this second game here. So disappointingly, Madrid coming away with a nil-nil draw against Osasuna. And that just uh, proves my point about the certain lack of creativity in the side at the moment. Whether or not that's going to be a recurring theme for the season, we'll have to see. But I just don't want them to have to rely on Ben massively to create every single chance going Real Madrid's way. You know what I'm saying? So 
Hopefully, that's not going to be the case, and hopefully there will get chances here and there that aren't involving Ben. But I just looked at the side. I looked at the fact that, of course, they play Llorente alongside Casimiro, and that allows maybe Ben to push up forward. And that means then that, really, you've got four players in the attacking front with creativity, and then you're two holding midfielders. So if they can't create enough as the four then maybe it's going to be a bit of a problem for Madrid. But so far, a victory and a, and a draw in today's episode. It's not terrible, but there's been a lack of chances so far, and that's one thing that's slightly disappointing with the team. As we're moving into game number three now of this episode, and I'm really excited to say it's another home game for Ben again. He seems to be playing these games and just kind of getting a feel for the side at the moment at Real Madrid. That's the one thing that you have to take into consideration. Yes, it's, it's a lot of... Uh, pressure on his shoulders and as it stood after five games Madrid was sat sixth also guys I couldn't show you how much Real Madrid had paid for Ben because unfortunately I went into the section where normally it says recently arrived from Spurs for the money that it do does you know say but when I clicked on it it said one of the world's best rather than telling me how much they actually paid so I missed the chance to see how much Madrid paid but let me say this it's not going to be a cheap amount because his value right now is ridiculous so the chances are it's a very hefty amount of money probably close to that of the record in terms of world football even though actually no it won't be because Neymar's 200 million pounds is just ridiculous enough so scratch that it's still gonna be a lot of money but it's not gonna be quite enough as as Neymar's was and 35 minutes into this game here great work from Ben again he's so good with the ball at his feet he just drives forward and that's the best bit about him he gets it at his feet he's not afraid to take defenders on lovely little cut back in the area before finding Gareth Bale at the back post, and the Welshman makes the score 1-0 to Madrid. So, again, the two goals so far in today's episode, Ben has had to uh, have a hand in both of them. Of course, the first one from Ronaldo was just ridiculous uh, from him. But then that one was quite heavily reliant on Ben because he played a nice ball across, and Gareth did the rest. So, for Madrid... A good start to the game, and I'm sure they want to grab a few more here to get some confidence and momentum in the side. Zidane happy with that finish there from Gareth Bale. As the second half began, again, Ben on the ball here. You can see he picks it up. Great turn of that defender there. Lovely. He just leaves him for, uh, for dust. And then all of a sudden, the space opened up for him to run straight through. And another good opportunity for him to pick up his first goal in Madrid colours. But once again, he is denied. This time, it was not on target, unlike the last time where it hit the post. So... I mean, it's great play. You see he left the midfielder for Dust. He did him very well, nicely with a skill move, and then just continued his run, but he couldn't find the finish he was looking for. And then 54 minutes in, Ben on the ball again. Another good turn in the center of the box, looking for another strike goalwards. This one, though, was pretty weak, and it went straight at the goalkeeper. So, yeah, not as good as the, uh, the first one that he just had where he should have scored it, to be fair. And in the 61st minute, I thought that Alaves had, were going to kind of get themselves back in this one. They had a corner on the right-hand side here, and uh, they end up putting a great ball into the middle in all seriousness. Not quite sure why Ben is the man there at the front post. In the end, it goes straight into the middle. They win the header, but it's wide of the post. So could have been uh, a little bit of embarrassment for Madrid if they were conceded from the first attack at their goal, but they very nearly was. And uh, luckily for them, they still hold on to a 1-0 lead. And then we move into the 90th minute. Ben again on the ball. Just take a look at this, guys. Oh, my goodness me. He gets very lucky with the ball going through. But then it's just sheer quality. It really, really is sheer quality. And this is why Madrid have picked him up. I mean, he showed sparks of brilliance at Spurs. I give you with the player of the year for me in the Premier League. He came over to Madrid. He had the, uh, the first goal or the assist for the first goal. He picks up the ball here takes it right to the byline it was inches away from crossing that line and going out of play but he gets the correct ball across the face of goal and once again Gareth Bale is the man to profit from the move so two goals now for Bale both assists for Ben how about that it was the 90th minute of course but regardless it doesn't matter and uh, the points were already pretty much wrapped up I would say with the 1-0 win but it's nice to get the second in the game as well so Ben again World class is what I'm going to use. That's the word I'm going to use. World class for this 22-year-old center attacking midfielder. He is just sheer quality. As the referee brought it to a close, Madrid with another three points on the board. I'm really looking forward to this season. I want to see, can Ben carry arguably one of the best teams in world football to glory himself? Let's find out over the course of the season. But for now, that is where we leave off the league gameplay for today because he's about to make his Champions League debut in the final game of today's episode. He missed that one against Manchester Gladbach, of course, but he is back and ready for the one against Celtic. But some good news for him. He picked up his first player of the month here at Real Madrid. He gets it 
and it is for the month of September. You can see there he is holding the award. He's picked up a fair few of these in his career so far, but this is his first one at Real Madrid. So credit to Ben. Congratulations. He thoroughly deserved it in my eyes. He's done ever so well since coming over. But I don't know if you see it there. It says manager unimpressed with Wood's performances down at the bottom. So is it done? Hitting out at him a little bit. Whether or not that's criticism for him to take on board and just kind of use it in his game, or whether or not that is genuine criticism for Zidane saying he's not good enough. I don't know what that was, but it's slightly strange to see him getting player of the month, but then having Zidane criticising. So maybe Zidane should be uh, careful with what he says in the future. Yeah, I don't understand that. Why would you attack your player and then he win player of the month? You see what I'm saying? So one of them is wrong. Either he shouldn't have been given player of the month, or the manager shouldn't attack him. How about that? But moving into the next and final game of today's episode, guys, you can see... They are going to go over to Celtic Park and take on the Scottish club. Now, Celtic, down the years, you know, they've had some magical nights in the Champions League. And uh, are they about to have another one here against Real Madrid? Or is this fight going to have way too much for this Celtic team to handle? I mean, you've got multi-million pounds worth of talent on show here for Madrid. And once again, this time, though, it's Llorente in the hold of midfield spot and Tony Cruz the man in the midfield. So a very stacked midfield. It's a great midfield as well. So they should be able to control the game against Celtic here and really take the game to them. Let's see if they can do that as the 54th minute was the first chance of the game. Ben on the ball, takes on that defender with a ball. A great play again and looking for a similar assist to what he got in the last game. At this time, the defense of, uh, the defense of Celtic hold out and do quite well against him. And once again, though, it was a kind of lack of creativity in the game. 86 minutes in, Ben on the ball. Great cutback again. Finds his way towards the back post. He tried to feed it here. I thought he was going to play in Marcus Rashford, which he didn't do. He obviously didn't see the pass on. Instead, went to the man on the other side. Gets it back. And eventually, the ball is whipped in from Gareth Bale. It comes to Aguero, who came off the bench. And he hit the crossbar in the 90th minute of the game. I genuinely thought that Real Madrid were about to nick these three points here. To be fair to Celtic, they defended quite well. They were resilient on the ball and they probably deserve to at least get a draw out of this game. So that's probably a fair result here. But just watch the clock, right? It's 90th minute plus two right now. And that's been on there for a little bit of time. So Rashford gives away a free kick here. The referee blows for it. And I'm kind of thinking to myself, OK, that's pretty much game over. You know, you're looking at this and saying it's been a disappointing game for Real Madrid, but at least they get a point. 90 minutes on the clock. Referee, blow your whistle anytime you want. Free kicks whipped in. It's one in the air by Celtic. It comes to Scott Sinclair on his left-hand side. He cuts it back onto his right, gets a pass off to Armstrong. Armstrong back to Witzel. Witzel to Kay on the left, on the right-hand side. It eventually falls to Armstrong after the save was made by Kaylo Navas. And he puts the home side ahead in the 90th minute of the game. Now... I don't want to be one of these people that complains and moans and has a go. But for me, I looked at that and I thought, how long was that two minutes that the referee had played? Do you guys think, that's going to be my question today. Do you guys think that two minutes was way too long and that Celtic maybe have got away with one there? Regardless, they've come away with a 1-0 win. It's another magical night for Scotland and another magical night for Celtic themselves. But I have to say, referee, you played a very, very long added two minutes there, mate. I don't know whether or not we went over the time or not. But regardless, disappointing way to end today's episode. That is how we're going to end it, though, guys. If you did enjoy it, a like rate would be greatly appreciated. As always, thank you for your support on the channel. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all again at 4 p.m. UK time tomorrow, guys, for yet another video. Catch you all then. Adios.